Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. The fuck it diet is not only hilarious, it is scientifically and medically sound. A must read for any chronic dieter? Christiane Northrup, MD, New York Times best-selling author of Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. From comedian and ex-diet junkie Caroline Dooner, an inspirational guide that will help you stop dieting, reboot your relationship with food, and regain your personal power. Dieting doesn't work. Not long term. In fact, our bodies are hardwired against it. But each time our diets fail, instead of considering that maybe our ridiculously low-carb diet is the problem, we wonder what's wrong with us. Why can't we stick to our simple plan of grapefruit and tuna fish? Why are we so hungry? What is wrong with us? We berate ourselves for being lazy and weak, double down on our belief that losing weight is the key to our everlasting happiness, and resolve to do better tomorrow. But it's time we called a spade a spade, constantly trying to eat the smallest amount possible is a miserable way to live, and it isn't even working. So fuck eating like that. In the fuck it diet, Caroline Dooner tackles the inherent flaws of dieting and diet culture, and offers readers a counterintuitively simple path to healing their physical, emotional, and mental relationship with food. What's the secret anti-diet? Eat. Whatever you want. Honor your appetite and listen to your hunger. Trust that your body knows what it is doing. Oh, and don't forget to rest, breathe, and be kind to yourself while you're at it. Once you get yourself out of survival mode, it will become easier and easier to eat what your body really needs, a healthier relationship with food ultimately leads to a healthier you. An ex-yo-yo Dieter herself, Dooner knows how terrifying it can be to break free of the vicious cycle, but with her signature sharp humor and compassion, she shows readers that a sustainable, easy relationship with food is possible.